Hey everyone, we're uh, just getting rolling with these videos and uh, yeah, I thought I'd do something a little more interesting and fun. Got a few jokes out there, but uh, this is our 299 C-Cat and we just got a new uh, CDI Extreme uh, mower from, uh, we actually brought it into Canada through Big City Equipment in Beaver Lodge. It's a family run business and they're just uh, super to deal with. He, he set us up with some of our proper uh, connections we need to swing it over to the cat to the eight pin. Uh, there was different ways to wire it. Um, it does have a nice uh, piston drive high flow motor. Motor. The other ones had gearboxes, so this is the, the new badass machine, eh? Um, really extreme cutting blades. Maybe a little work to change, but they say you can sharpen them for a bit, and, and, and they're heavy. They're thick, like real thick. Big bolts welded on both sides. They're not coming off. Uh, like I said, real nice piston drive mower. Uh, we're going to make a video on how it all works, but uh, this is there's a nice box that covers this up. Um, just the different ways to tie it in. This is a, an older 299C. It's a 2012. Um, this electrical pin here is an 8 pin. You can wire this in and you can there is enough electronic functions to send power down to the solenoids. But you'll have two buttons which your auxiliary 5 and 6 will send you power out. Um, you're going to have to use function 7 which is your trigger on the left side and then you're going to have to shut your high speed off, your 2 speed and that will give you function 8 but that will be ran as a switch up on the dash. Um, so, being this machine was a high flow, uh, you get two buttons on your right joystick that control your both of your uh, different. You get two auxiliary hydraulic functions, I guess, on both sides. This middle one is a return for a standard flow. This is an 18 to 20 gallon a minute machine, I think. But we just tied them hoses in off that auxiliary flow, come down the side, looped around. I'm going to tie that all up and trim it up. And we just went down to the bottom ram that controls the swing attachment because this is a side boom mower, so it'll swing to the side. And I'm thinking with this machine being a high lift, um, we're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of reach with it too to get up and trim some trees and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's been a great machine and. Uh, I uh, can't wait to try this side boom more out. We'll have a video on that. 